Mary Meat, thank you so much for joining us today. I thought we would do a little video on how to consecrate a wand. Now this is not your elemental wand, but if you are a student of a witch's primer, you know that we have a whole lesson on wand magic. And so what we're gonna be doing is uh, consecrating and charging our spell wand. And so I'm using this wand here for my spell wand today. You can use any wand that, that works well for you, that you like. Uh, I prefer wood, but it doesn't need to be ornate. It doesn't need to be carved, but you may, if you desire, uh, use one that's made by a professional. Or you can just get a, a, a branch off of a tree. You can make one yourself. Um, it really let you let you, your yourself uh, go as far as what you like in a wand. I normally don't use incense in this space. I'm going to today, I'm gonna to use a stick of incense just to show you uh, because most people prefer incense. But if you are like me and you don't like to use incense, instead of wafting it through incense, you may use one of these uh, perfumes, either Eau de Cologne or Van Van for that as well. But I'm gonna demonstrate it, how to, how to use incense today. Um, and we're just using an incense stick. If you would prefer using powdered incense or, or gum incense in your thurible, that is fine. You need a candle, lit. Red is nice, but that's not necessary. White is fine. A little bit of water, a little bit of salt, and either incense or uh, spray perfume. You'll start out by just mixing a little bit of salt and water. And we have a chant that we use, salt and water. This charge I lay, no spell nor adverse purpose stay. Hear my words, attend to me, and as I will, so mote it be. And you're gonna take your cloth, like this, and just cleanse it. Salt and water, this charge I lay, no spell nor adverse purpose stay. Hear my words, attend to me, and as I will, so mote it be. And then you can light your incense. And then you waft it through the smoke and you say, fire and air, this charge I lay, no spell nor adverse purpose stay. Hear my words, attend to me, and as I will, so mote it be. And then we are going to just dedicate it. And it's very simple to do. You just say, by the power of fire, by the power of water, by the power of air and by the power of the earth do I consecrate and dedicate this wand to magic and then you're just going to take some of the salt and sprinkle it on top take a piece of white cloth or white paper if that's all you've got and cover it up and you leave it there for 24 hours, like that. You just leave it stay for 24 hours, and I've got this on a little tray so I can move it out of the way. And then it's done. Do this in the during the, the waxing moon, preferably on a Wednesday. Now, when it's time to work your wand magic, I'm gonna just sh demonstrate with my lighter, since my wand is preoccupied being, being consecrated right now. You decide on a particular simple symbol that you can use that uh, represents your desire. So a simple symbol that represents your desire. For instance, you might use a heart for a love spell. And while you're building your thought form, just like it says in a witch's primer class, uh, what you do is, is you build that thought form. And as a part of building that thought form, you're going to take your wand and you're going to trace that heart in the air and charge that thought form with the with the um, symbol of the heart right through the using your wand and it's very powerful wand magic is very powerful and uh, you don't want to use it flippantly you know but now if you don't have a wand or you don't want a wand uh, you can still do that act just by using your fingers this is this is a wand this can be your wand this can be your athame right any 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 implement you can use your fingers think of a conductor now a conductor can use a baton and usually they do but if they don't have a baton and they just go like this do you think that the orchestra is going to sound worse no right they just it just it's it's just a, a a more complete experience for them and for everybody else if they use their baton and so that's the same with the wand you don't need the wand but it sure works well and we sure do like it, and, and it's a very, very ancient symbol of magic. Thank you so much for being here. 
Can't wait to work with you again. Until next time, blessed be.